How much are you willing to pay for your safety? Good question, right? More money could soon be coming out of your pocket to fund police and fire departments. Charleston City officials are discussing a potential tax increase to recover that $18 million budget shortfall. This is Katie Turner joins us in studio. And Katie, time is running out for council to make a decision here. That's right, Brendan. The city of Charleston's budget has to be balanced by the end of the year, and your tax dollars may help dig the city out of an $18 million hole caused in part by COVID-19. And right now, city leaders are scrambling to reach a decision between raising taxes, cutting jobs, or a combination of the two. The city saving grace could be money from Washington, but that decision is still in limbo. Breaking down this potential tax increase, the city is planning to keep half of the local option sales money normally given back to residents for a year and raising the tax by three mills. According to the city, this increase could prevent cutting jobs for the city's core services like police, fire, sanitation, and even recreation. What we're voting on tonight just keeps our options open and, and gives us a tool in the toolbox uh, to be able to uh, successfully balance our budget for uh, before the end of the year. I'm told regardless of the council's final decision, they will continue to evaluate the budget next year and will make changes if need be. If council decides on a budget plan tonight, it will be pushed to first reading on December 1st. For now in studio, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.